Okay, hi, welcome to Hixie Studio. Today we're going to be um, looking at how to make a really simple, straightforward uh, Christmas card that you can knock out quite quickly if you're batch making. It's really nice and small. It's uh, a four by four card um, with just a couple of different part, uh, bits of Cintura Pearl and a, a lovely little tiny die by Elizabeth Craft Design called Small Poinsettia. Just so you get an idea of when we say small, this is this is the biggest size uh, of the die uh, against the 50 pence piece. So we're talking quite dinky here. Um, it's perfect for this little card it can be used as a much uh, as an embellishment on a bigger card if you're going to do loads of them. So let's have a look. So first of all, what I want to do is to make myself my four by four card. And I'm going to use some white stamping card um, from Crafters Companion. Uh, I'm going to take my guillotine and slide my card lengthways in because I want to cut a strip that is four inches wide. So I'll line up with my four inch guide and I cut. Okay. Now I could slide this out for my uh, to mark eight inches, but I prefer to use my little board and I'm just going to mark with a pencil at eight inches. Pop it back into the go scene and so I now have the start of my base card and I'm going to just score this with my scoreboard at four inches go it straight down the middle at four inches fold and burnish the line and you have your base card we're going to put that to one side for later so, on the card I made, I used one uh, one layer in green for the base, which is the big die, and then I cut another of those layers in red, and then lots of the little leaves in green. We're using Centura Pearl Christmas Red and Christmas Green, and I've just got some off-cut bits um, from previous projects. So, I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to lie all the dies now. These are very small dies, and uh, my suggestion to you is have a magnetic sheet uh, close by to keep them on because we've already had a little bit of a mishap this morning with them, um, and we don't really want to do that again. So uh, yeah, keep keep them on a magnetic sheet, and then um, we know where they are. So I'm going to stick these down. Doesn't need to be in too much of an order. Okay. And I'm going to use the Gemini and we're going to use a nice clean cutting tape, which is a bit of a treat. So clear board, dies. I always like to use my um, shim before my magnetic shim. And then another lovely clean, ooh, got a stray paper clip in there. That's no good. Okay, and then we just feed that through our Gemini. So this will give me uh, the big red one, it will give me some of the small uh, red little ones and uh, that's one past three. I think I need a longer that arm. Sorry. Okay, so you can see those three have already come out, so we're just going to move those off there. Let me take these off. And uh, I'll get my little brush. A little brush. And just run that over there just to get those up because I've actually realised I don't necessarily need those little red dots. I think I prefer them in green. These up. Pop out the um, little leaf. There we go. Back to the tape once well, it's not too straight on. And I'm just going to put these back on in another space using up my red card here because I want some more of these. Um, this one I'm going to put onto my green card along with this one. And uh, really literally in two passes you get enough to make this card. So we've got our leaves there safe. But again base plate, shim, magnetic plate and top plate through the Gemini. 
Green dot, which I'll poke out in a moment. I have my large green for my base, put that to one side. I have ooh, more of the lovely leaves. Because uh get gonna be a bit technical now. These on the poinsettia, the red bits are still leaves. I think they've got a funny name like bracts, I think. But they're just coloured leaves, they are still leaves. Just happen to look very pretty in red. So because I've finished with the Gemini machine, I'm just going to use the magnetic map to keep all my dies together. Back over there, so they don't disappear. And I'm not going to put that there. There we go. And put that to one side. So I now have, hmm, there we have, I have my large green piece, my large red piece, several of my um, little leaves and I'm just going to poke out with this brush, get out my little green dots, okay. That's all we need and I'll put those just to one side because what I do next is I actually cut my mat and layers, let's get this around the right way. So I'm going to cut this at a uh, green layer at three and a half uh, and a red layer at three and a quarter. So bear with me while I get the plug back. We cut the layers first, then when we come to stick the little poinsettia on in the middle, we know we've got the right amount of space and we're not having to then trim that down. So, get my measuring mat out. So, I want a three and a half inch by three and a half inch. I'm going to cut that. Oh, crash. I'm going to hold off the chair and do it in a minute. There's my three and a half inch. Right. Three and a half inch. And that will sit my first layer on my card and then I'm going to do a red layer at three and a quarter so again mark it off with my board three and a quarter and three and a quarter I think when I did it the, the sample I probably did 16 but it it's not a huge problem it's how fine a border you want from it you want a smaller border then only pop in a sixteenth rather than a quarter. So there's our next layer there. So we then need a nice big layer. Now this is the off cut from when I made the um, the card. So I'm going to make that at three inches. So and I'm going to use the board here. It's easier to just swap this in. So I've got three inches. With your fingers, I've got by two uh, inches, and that will be our little mat in here. And I'll put, pop that through the embossing folder shortly. I can see I've got mucky fingers over it, so we might need to use the other side of them. Okay, now for the inside little bit, I think I'm just going to get my, uh, uh, excuse me, my. Rule out a two inch. So I did that at two inches. So I'm going to cut another white one at two inches. Here we go. Put my shot cut there. And we'll go up to my two inch. With me, up to my two inches. And my two inches. And that will be the one that I'll stick my little point sitting on. So that will sit in the middle. Now, I am now going to do the, the next bit by eye because uh, I want it fairly small. So I'm going to take a piece that I've got, a red border, and turn it over. And I'm literally just going to place this on and say, right, 
how much of a border do I want? Roughly that I'm going to go for. I do, I do my matting and layering like this a lot. I'm not a great measurer. Um, so I'm just going to cut that off. And then I will have a look to see. Am I still in view? I don't know. So that will go on there. Yeah, and then I will use my red bit and I'll put it onto my green bit, inky bit, sorry about that. And then I will just mark that again by eye, roughly how big I want my border. There are, there are different ways. It can be measuring, it can be accurate, or it can be a bit more like me, which is a little bit by eye. I know some people, some people really struggle doing it by eye. I prefer measuring whatever you feel more comfortable with. So I think pretty much I've got all the layers done now. Move that away. There we go, those will, those will be our layers. Now, you notice on my original, I have uh, embossed. You can leave it plain if you want. You can use um, any kind of embossing folder you like, maybe like a snowfall one, but we have the, the lovely um, Nellie's Nelly, Nelly, Holly Lee's 3D embossing folder. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first piece of card. Now, I always make sure I check which way around the folder is so that I make sure I get an emboss coming up rather than deboss. So I'm looking for the dips in this bit um, so that they push forward. Now, the other thing I tend to do, and I don't know how well this is going to come out on the camera, I tend to fiddle around to see where it's going to emboss uh, because I kind of would like most of the edges to have some sort of imprint. So I just fiddle around till I'm happy with that. Now, on the Gemini, I have found that the best combination, and I'm going to have to move my little dies there, the best combination for embossing this folder is uh, your base plate and your, your sort of cloudy sheet and your magnetic sheet. The two plates themselves are too much. The plate and the, the shim is not enough. So if you put them through with that combination, you will get a nice deep emboss. Hello. Oh, time while that goes through. Hungry. Okay. There we go. Really lovely, deep, clear emboss. And that's our layer here. Okay. And I'm going to just do the same with this one. Again, find the nicest place that's going to give me the best uh, outcome. Same combination, base plate, magnetic, and the cloudy shim. I'm sure it's got a proper name, but fairly, fairly explanatory. And there's our top layer. Okay. So now it really is just a case of, of assembling. So for the mats and layers, all I'm going to use is, um, <laughs> I might just realise the lid's been off my glue, so this could be an interesting one, we'll see how we go. So I've got um, just the Cosmic Shimmer um, Dries White Glue, and yes, Carol. Luckily, I have, I, have a, I have decanted a little bit into a finer nib, so I'll just use this, it's uh, exactly the same stuff, I've just, uh, Managed to forget to put the top on. I'm sure we all do it. Well, I know I do it. So there's the base layer. Now, if you were batch making these, if you know, think because at Christmas we all get to that point where it's like we have so many cars to make and we want something that's quick and simple, you can really get an assembly line going. Do all your die cutting, do all your um, cutting for your mats and layers. Um, and do all your embossing, and then literally just have an assemb assembly line going just to get them all together. And they're just so simple and so effective. Okay. Green and our red. And our last little bit of embossing. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm smiling because something lovely has just wandered into the, the studio. Um, lovely little four-legged friend. Bless. You can't sit off. I'm gone again. So, so we have we have the base of the card assembled. Now I prefer. Now I'm going to put the pin back in so that I don't end up with the same problem with this one. Um, I prefer to use a glue gel, 3D glue gel for, for this kind of assembling because you want a little bit of um, dimension and it's a lot easier to get if you've kind of got a little bit of a, a thicker glue to poke things in. So I'm going to take my green base and I'm just slightly curling the leaves here. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit of uh, the glue on. Just going to make sure I've got glue. Okay, so I'm going to place that there. Another tiny little bit of glue. Again, I like the syringe because I feel it gives me a nice bit of control. And then it's just a case of, hmm, where should I put it? I tend to offset it a little bit there. And now what I didn't do, what I will do before I put it down, is to just give those, those leaves a little bit of shape. Okay, put that down. Now, for all of these little bits, we'll keep, don't lose those little dots because they are a nice sort of finishing effect there. So just move these there. So, Again, just give them a little bit of shape, doesn't need much, just to give it a little bit of dimension. They are quite little, um, but it is worth taking that little bit of time just to put that little bit of um, dimension in. And then I am just going to put a blob of the glue gel in the middle. And I'm literally, I'm going to just use that to be able to push my leaves into and now it's a case just of where you want to put them okay assemble your little poinsettia however you feel try and leave a little bit of the green showing don't need a lot of the green but a little bit really does give that added effect particularly as we're going to put green in the middle shortly now i don't know that i need these other two I'll stick one more in. Okay. Oh, fiddly fiddly. There we go. So I am now going to put just another tiny little blob of glue in there. And I am going to use my little, um, I think it's wax. You can get them on places like Amazon, but they are great for picking up all your little gems. I'm sure most of you will have one. And I literally am just going to use that to add my little green bits on to the middle of this poinsettia. And because it's a glue gel, it holds that nice sort of round effect. Now I'll use my screen, let's get my screen. Okay, and there we have it. That's as simple as it gets. So that's my original, and there's the one I've made, pretty similar. So a really nice simple card if you're batch making for Christmas. Thank you.